Here are my rank one elite division custom tactics. We've just gone rank one in weekend league. I'll show you all the tactics, player positions, and everything like that. This is my main account on one of the teams which I went rank one with this weekend. We did in fact hit three or four rank ones this weekend. I can't actually remember. One of them I missed out on. And this is my main account. Now for my custom tactics, I have four different tactics set up. And this is vital if you want to achieve more wins in weekend league and stop those games that you lose when it's 2-1 to your opponent or it's 1-1 one, one, and you need different tactics. My main formation is the 4-3-2-1, which is my defensive formation. Defense attacking, ultra defensive, ultra attacking. Necessarily don't actually mean anything. You could just call this one, two, three, four, and you set up your tactics wherever you want on the D-pad. But we will start with my main tactics, and this is my go-to at all times. The 4-3-2-1, I play a defensive of balanced with a width of 50 and a depth of 72. Now, the reason I play such a high depth is originally it was the auto offside trap, and then they kind of patched it, but I really enjoy playing with a high line. It just means that, you know, my opponent can't keep going over the top unless they do the first time over the top three balls, which you have to manually track. So it kind of really works for me. If the depth is too much, drop it to 60. 60 is absolutely fine with this formation. Offense, I play balanced with direct passing, which is the same usually for everybody. And then I play five players in the box. The five players in the box for me are my three forwards, uh, my striker, two center forwards, and then two of my midfielders. My left back and right back do actually get forward as well, but I don't really want them in the box unless I trigger them to go in that position. Corners, free kicks, I play on one, pure and simple. I don't want to get counter-attacked. I get counter-attacked all the time. If you're really good on corners, you've got your own corner routine, have this on two, three, whatever works for you. Corners, free kicks, don't listen to anyone else. Listen what works for you and your team. This is the way I line up in game. I've got Donny Marlon on the, as the actual striker, Mbappe uh, left centre forward, and then Drogba as right centre forward. I am completing the R9 SBC. I'm just kind of working around with this. But that is the way I line up in game. Now, for the instructions, I have my central striker. Stay central, stay forward. I don't want him drifting wide. Uh, a lot of people do have their striker on getting behind. I prefer not to, pure and simple. I use the triggering of runs, player locking. If you're not very good um, at triggering runs and just using the, you want to use the attacking AI, I would probably put him on getting behind. Jog would be my right forward. He's the one I kind of look for those L1 square crosses. He plays on the back, but he also plays stay central, stay forward. So it kind of like defends in like a 4 4 2 because my left forward will then come back, Odegaard will cover wing, etc, etc. And then for the left forward, where I've got Mbappe, I've just got him on comeback on defence. I have Havertz on overlap, which I'll show you in a minute, which just means that I need Mbappe to cover that position if necessary. Now for my two outside midfielders, I play them on completely balanced and cover wing. Both my fullbacks, I like to push forward. So these two right here are both on cover wing. Now, my central CM, who's sort of like my ball winner, my sit back, is on stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for cross and cover center. Turan basically just runs the midfield. The way that the 4 3 2 1 works is like, regardless of what tactics you play on, your two outside midfielders, they all sort of swap and entwine anyway, depending on their defensive stats and things. So, as long as you've got the guy in the middle as cover center, then the other two, realistically, you can have a cover center or a cover wing. It doesn't matter too much. Now, my left fullback, which is Havertz, I have on balanced and I have on overlap, which means he just bombs forward. Renato Sanchez cover wings. He kind of drops in that gap if I need him to. But Havertz is that good. He's just my attacking threat. But he also obviously defends really well as well. Now, Cafu, who's more defensive minded, I still have him on overlap, but I have him on stay back while attacking, even though he still does get forward as well when I need him to. But he overlaps when Odegaard's got the ball, and then I've got an extra option on the wing there as well. Now, check, I play on balance, balance. He has a sweeper keeper trait anyway. So if you play sweeper keeper, he literally plays as a striker. It, you can muck around with this if you want him on come for crosses, like put him on that. It's completely up to you. If I want my goalkeeper to come for crosses, usually I'll just double tap Y and he just then triangle whatever it is on PlayStation. And he usually just covers it. So yeah, that's my what I do with the goalkeeper. So then my 4-3-2-1, that is what I go to. Now, the only time I will ever sort of like come out of the 4-3-2-1 is if I'm getting dominated by my opponent. Maybe he's playing a different formation, like a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1, and I need to match him. So I'll show you those tactics now. We'll go into ultra defensive, which is my 4-2-3-1. Now, this is, if I'm trying to hold on to a game, sometimes I'll swap into this 4-2-3-1 and just hold it. So with this, I play balanced 50 width and 52 depth. So I've really dropped the depth on my 4-2-3-1. I play a balance on build up with direct passing on chance creation. Width on 50, again, players in the box five and corners and free kicks, both one. 
Again, my um, players in the box five just being my front four cams and then one of my CDMs, which is sort of like on get forward. Now, because I run Odegaard in the midfield in a 4-3-2-1, you should always want one more attacking player. He can then move and transition into Cam really well. So he goes central Cam, Drogba goes Ram, Mbappe, Lamb, and then Donny Marlon as my striker. Now, in terms of instructions, I have Donny Marlon stay central, stay forward. So your striker stay central, stay forward on this formation. Again, if you want to run getting behind, if, you're, if you, that's your preference, run it. Do what you want. Now, my three cams all oh, come back on defense and get in the box for cross. The reason I have them all come back on defense, this is my more defensive formation if I'm trying to hang on to a game. And if, like, my opponent's pressing me, say so I'm 2-1 up and I'm getting pressed, I drop into this formation. I've got them all on come back on defense. I get the ball with one of my fullbacks. They're then coming in front of the defenders and receiving the ball. And then I can play back, play the ball over the top, whatever's easiest. Come back on defense on all three of these camps. Renato Sanchez is my more get forward sort of midfield, a bit more of a ball player. He plays cover center and balanced on everything. Taram, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover center. Both fullbacks in this formation are on stay back while attacking. No overlap, no nothing. Usually, if I was running this with a higher depth, I would play overlap probably on Havertz. But because I just want to hold on to the game with this formation, I'm just playing stay back while attacking again i play check on balance that's completely up to you and what you want to do with your keeper so that's for holding on to a game we've got the 4-3-2-1 which is my main formation now if i need to change up because of my opponent's formation or i'm, I'm losing i'm getting dominated i swap into my 4-4-2 which again is just as attacking as the 4-3-2-1 but it's just a different formation now my 4-4-2 sits with balanced width at 51 depth at 72 a build up play balance direct passing width at 51 as well Again, 5-1-1. One, one. Same as the 4-2-3-1, two, two strikers, left mid, right mid, and one of my centre mids on get forward for the five players in the box. This is the way this lines up in game. Odegaard himself got that naughty left foot finesse, so he goes right mid, Mbappe left mid, Drogba goes into that striker role. Now, in terms of instructions, both my strikers stay central, stay forward. The wingers are on comeback on defense, cut inside, get in behind, get into the box of cross. A bit much to stomach. They come back, they help out. When I've got the ball in my fullback, they'll make that run in between the center back and the fullback. So that's the cut inside part, getting behind. That's the same thing, getting behind there. And then they get in the box for cross as well. If I'm crossing the ball and I need that extra man right on the back post, it'll be my left mid or my right mid. Renato Sanchez is my, again, ball player, so he just plays cover center. Taram, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box to cross and cover center. Both fullbacks in this formation are on stay back while attacking, but they do play overlap. And the reason for that is because I've got um, Mbappe Odegaard coming back on the wings, like it gives these lot a chance to get forward as well. Again, check plays balanced, completely up to you. Centre backs are all on default as usual. And then my final formation, this is if I'm losing 80th minute and I just need to send everyone. The four triple two, constant pressure, width 50, 100 depth, fast build up, forward runs, 50 width. Everyone in the box, everyone for corners, everyone for free kicks. We just send everyone. And I play completely balanced tactics. I don't run any custom tactics on these. Pure and simple, because I've got 100 depth and I'm running everyone forward with fast build-up and forward runs, I don't. it doesn't matter what tactics I put on these. They're just going to all gung-ho go forward anyway. So, it, But only run this if you really need to score a goal. Now, I run these tactics on my RTG on every single account that I play. And these have helped me hit rank one consistently. If you've got any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. You can always drop by the Twitch stream as well. I do stream every day from four or five o'clock. Really depends on what's going on on the day. Every single day, bar Thursdays at the minute. So if you want to come over, ask any questions, watch some gameplay, watch some packs, please do come on over. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are new. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.